So, Mike, you mentioned why do we get in this treadmill? Is it because we haven't been told this information? I mean, we hear save and save and save uh, and do it in a way where you can push the tax off till later. But it seems uh, what you've been telling us for a long time is that when we go to take this money out, once it's grown, hopefully exponentially, we're going to talk about the middle class millionaires because people have done a great job of saving. Then you have to pay the piper uh, and pay the money on that massive amount of wealth that you've accumulated. Well, I think the problem starts with when we're very, very young and and we're encouraged to start saving for our retirement or for a house or whatever we're saving our money for, you Mm -hmm. know, we're making smart money choices and we're putting some of that money away. And, And at that time period, nobody really emphasizes the 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 impact that compounding growth is going to have right nobody really talks about it and when you're 25 years old or 30 years old you can't really envision what your account's going to look like when it's you know five hundred thousand or a million or two million or 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 whatever you've managed to to put away we don't really think like that that's not what we're geared to for most of us at 25 30 we're so busy trying to figure out what our profession is going to be what our career is going to look like how to raise our families We're, we're doing all those things that we need to do in order to get to that next part of life. And and what happens is there are not enough advice givers out there that are talking about the tax implications, the long-term tax implications. I mean, for these small business owners that that have put so much of their emotional well-being mm-hmm. into growing a business. For for people that have heard, oh, let's let's buy real estate so you can diversify your portfolio and have multiple sources of income. For people that have put money into the 401ks and, and the TSPs and the 457s and the 403, wherever you have done these things, if you think about it, the amount of tax advice you get is probably pr- probably less time spent on tax advice being given to you than you did you use you took that you that you had when you were trying to figure out what washer or dryer to buy or where to go on vacation (laughs) you probably spent more time researching what car to buy than you did how am i going to take care of myself for the next 30 40 50 years of your life it's that round to it when i get to be 50 or when i get to be 60 all of a sudden okay the end is coming closer i need to start thinking about those things and now i need to make some serious decisions and 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 yes it, it, you know it's never too late right you never want to say right. never but, but the fact is is the quicker and the earlier you start uh, my own children you know they save in all the, the Roth 401ks, the Roth IRAs. Mm-hmm. That's where their money goes. All their money goes there. They know their dad will take them out back and beat them with a stick if they are putting money into traditional 401ks. It makes absolutely no sense. And, and it goes even back to that idea that people always think that they're going to be in a lower tax bracket. Uh, well, first and foremost, why? why? If you're in a lower tax bracket, that means you have less income. It's not. And, and, and it's not because they lower the tax bracket or because all of a sudden you turn 60 or 70 or 80 and tax, you don't have to pay taxes anymore. The only reason why you go into a lower tax bracket is because you make less money. And who in their right mind, again, you know, nobody volunteered and said, ooh, 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 pick me. I want to lose 20 to 30 percent of my income off the top. Nobody said to me, hey, hey, I want to lose 40 percent of my portfolio on average every seven years. And nobody says to themselves, ooh, I hope I'm making less money when I go into retirement. I hope I'm living on some sort of fixed income that I can't afford all the extras and to maintain my lifestyle. Well, nobody volunteers for that. That is step off that treadmill. Stop with that philosophy. Stop believing that's what you need to do. Stop believing that that's what your future is going to look like. Take the next step. Give us a call, 866-597-1040, 866-597-1040. Let Ryan, myself, and our team, we will sit down with you, and we're going to show you how to create income streams that you will never outlive. We're going to talk to you about how much you're paying in fees, the risk you're taking. We're going to talk to you about long-term care, estate planning, legacy planning, and taxes, taxes, taxes. Everything we do revolves around making sure we're always paying the least amount of taxes legally possible. And just in case you haven't listened to the show before or seen us on a podcast or, or seen on YouTube, just in case you don't know this, 
Zero percent tax bracket is absolutely a reasonable tax bracket for you to strive towards. It's a tax bracket that you should believe in. And quite frankly, if you have your if you have control of it and you can make it happen, zero percent taxes is what you should volunteer to pay every single year. Step off that treadmill. Stop giving them 20, 30 percent right off the top. Give us a call at 866-597-1040, 866-597-1040.